It's a very long-standing issue, and it's not just a matter of uh, the fuel prices going up or you, what's happening in Ukraine with grain prices and things like that. There's one fundamental issue here we've been so bad at in this country is we have never educated ourselves about how much money we need for our retirement. There is Stuart. She's at the wrong end of her life to be able to do anything about this. So we should be actually preparing ourselves to say, right, what sort of money do I need to be able to retire on? How much of my assets am I going to have to have? How much am I going to have to put aside? Of course, it's all going to be a guess to a certain extent. But you can make a reasonable guess because it also depends what happens with inflation. But, you know, obviously the cost of fuel and other things will go up. But most people have no idea in terms of their future planning. You're going to be retiring at 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. You could then be living another 20, 25 years. And, of course, that life doesn't necessarily get any cheaper because you'll be paying more on, say, you know, drugs and things like that and health care and all those other bits and pieces. And I'm afraid that doesn't go on the normal inflation levels as you see from the government every month. So I'm afraid it, there's no easy answer to this, but for the future, we have to educate the next generation. Have your mojitos now, but make sure you put enough aside so you can actually make sure you can have some frozen peas when you retire.